Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Doug's fishing channel. <laughs> and I'm gonna be the host today. <laughs> but hopefully I catch more fish than Doug, but it's probably not gonna happen. Anyways, welcome to the first day of January 2020. We are in my country, northwestern Ontario, fishing for Lake, lake trout. trout. Today is opening day, a very exciting day. My favorite day of winter by far. So we are gonna pop some holes, get the graphs in, and hopefully show you guys some big trout. Lights, camera, action. Them. How did I do that? You just must have swiped at it and just didn't get the hook. That sucks. Check out all this bait on the screen. You guys can see I'm in 47 feet of water. I've probably got bait in the bottom five feet of the water column. Just stacked. I'm going to keep jigging above it and a lot of times those fish will just be trailing that bait. As soon as this bait ball leaves, we'll probably mark ourselves a big old trout. Oh my god, he hit it and missed him. He's coming back. Got him. Oh! Come on. Come back again. Yeah. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh! I stung him twice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! That one was hot. You missed him twice? Twice, he hit it. Unbelievable, that's three bites that I've had and I've yet to put a good hook in one. Oh my god! Come on, come back. How did I miss another one? There he is. I don't get it. I think I have an idea. Why I'm not getting them? That's ridiculous. Like this tube's now got bit four times, and it's just shredded. Here's one. What? Got him. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. First trout hooked up of the year. Back my drag off a touch. Oh, that rod. I'm loving it. So this is my new trout rod. This is a, uh, might be a good one. This is a 42 inch pro graphite from Thorn Brothers. Can you get that ice on or not? Yeah, you can chip it out with your hands, it'd be great. Hit the record button on the top of that GoPro on my, uh, Guys, this is why I love lake trout. Like this thing hasn't stopped since I hooked it. <laughs> we had a pretty rough morning. I am zero for. <laughs> I'm zero for four. Yeah, my graph's been showing zero percent for quite a while. My shuttle actually, it's not my graph. My GoPro keeps shutting off. Mine's but on. I really don't care. Cause we're doing it. Cause we uh, got a good one on, I think. Woo! We're rolling, Doug. You're my hero. This is a good one, I think, Jess. You never know with lake trout, but... Did they come off the bottom? No, I was like super high. It came in at like 20 feet. Well, and Dave's fish... It was 10 feet under the hole, in the hole. This is honestly my favorite thing to do through the ice. By far, like this is the muskie for me of ice fishing. He's just like stuck on bottom. I can't get him up. I'm taking my time, but I'm just loving this rod. Last year I was fighting these fish on a 32 inch 
rod, and now I got a 42 incher, and it's just so much nicer. And he gave me the 32 <laughs> inch rod. I want to make sure this. I like this one a lot, but I will definitely be ordering uh, us a handful of these. Oh, there's my uni. Uni nut. So I got about a 10 foot fluorocarbon leader on here, 15 pound. Fish in a tube, I'll show you guys. I'm a half ounce jig, and I think I figured out why I was losing my fish this morning, why I wasn't connecting with my bites. Why? Let's try to just land the fish first. Oh <laughs> I don't think he's quite ready yet. Here we go. Can we see it? I'd like to see it. No. <laughs> We're getting close. Lake Trout Opener 2020. Ooh! Bring it in the oh, new year. Oh, it looks like an average, but what, I can't really what, see What it. would you call an average? I don't know. I can't see it good enough. Okay, well, let's just land it. We'll get a better look at it. It looks like a good one to me. I've seen its back twice. Okay, we're closer. Oh, yeah. Oh, big girl. I thought so. Big girl! <laughs> Okay, yeah, there's your head. Yeah, there you go. Get her, Jess. Oh, yeah! Whoa. <laughs> there's a good one. That that's is a, a freaking that's a, tank. That's a warrior. Look at that dark belly. Look at the fins. That thing came right from the bottom. Inhale the jig. There's the tube. We'll go through that in a little bit. Why I think I landed this one and missed all the other ones. Oh, beautiful. Let's go get the big camera. This thing hardly fits up the 8-inch hole. I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure this is my biggest lake trout through the ice. I'd guess it, it's over 10 pounds for sure. Might be 12. It's really close to the size of the big one I caught last year. Oh, but look at the fins in this thing. Bright orange. Beautiful. It was worth losing a couple this morning to catch this one. What a fish. Jess just missed one. Hopefully we can get one more for you guys. See ya! <laughs> that was awesome. So worth it. I'm going to go through with you guys quick why I think I caught him on this one and not on the other one. Alright, so here's what I think was going on this morning. I was using not exactly this tube, but this exact tube jig head. And this is a three quarter ounce tube jig head. And it's pretty large. It's pretty heavy duty. It's made for big trout. Uh, I got a five inch tube on this one. And what I think was happening is I don't know if the shank was too far back or there was too much gap here or the hook itself was just too big or the tube profile itself was too big, um, but I just downsized. So I went to a three quarter ounce, still the same weight, but the gap in my hook, as you can see here, is much smaller. Okay, uh, It's a lot closer to the front of the tube jig because I was getting a lot of teeth marks just like this one right by the, the line tie. So, and also what I did is I took my scissors and I just cut some of the skirting off the back of the tube and made it a little bit shorter profile so it wasn't so large. Um, and I don't know if that's why I got bit. Maybe that was the biggest bite I had all day and I just happened to catch it and I, maybe I would have caught it on this one. But I kind of went through my head and I downsized my tube jig size and the size of my tube. And then first fish I hook up on, I land it. So, coincidence maybe, maybe not. But regardless, I'm going to stick with this one. Hopefully, get one more bite. See if he chases it down. Oh, he did. Did he chase or did I spook him? Definitely spooked him. That's like a last resort kind of move. I could tell that fish wasn't very aggressive. I wasn't going to get him to, to chase up after the tube. So sometimes you can just open your bail and let that bait just free fall past the fish. Sometimes they'll chase it. And you kind of got to watch your line and watch your mark on your graph to see. But sometimes they'll actually chase it down and eat it while you're still uh, in free spool. So when you can't get them to come up, sometimes you can get them to go down. But that one uh, obviously was not having it. They've been kind of 
kind of spooky we've seen so many different varieties of attitude from these fish this morning some have been super aggressive like the last one just came out of nowhere and crushed it that other one i worked for like five minutes couldn't get him to do anything the one i missed him twice and then i've had a lot of those fish just like that that are really timid and spooky but you just got to keep playing with your cadence change up your jigging tactics and your strokes and try and read the fish that's what your electronics are for to be able to read the attitude of that fish and try and figure out what you need to do to get a bite and that's why i like this graph that i actually have it shows me the history you guys can see what i've done probably the last five seconds and sometimes you don't see these fish come in or you can also just look at that while you're uh, working the fish and see what they did or did not like instead of having to remember it instantly if that information is gone all of a sudden you don't have any kind of history on your screen.